The acoustic emission method allows you to measure smallest changes in your process. An example for a chemical process or reaction is mixing baking soda and water. For this experiment you just need a smartphone, an acoustic emission data acquisition system, an acoustic emission sensor, a spoon, baking soda and a few drops of water. When you add water to the baking soda you get a chemical reaction and you generate bubbles. Let's try this and put some baking soda on a spoon. So that's the spoon, some baking soda, I just put on just a little bit. Attach the acoustic emission sensor to the spoon. I use a small clamp, just add it here to the spoon. Next step, connect the sensor to the spot wave, to this data acquisition system for acoustic emission. And connect the spot wave to your smartphone. The Fine app opens automatically and you can start recording the data instantly by pressing the red button. For this test we measure the baseline, which is here 3.75 microvolt at the moment, and we measure the POPs, the chemical reaction. We call this acoustic emission hits, will be displayed here on the right side. To start the chemical reaction, I just zoom in a little bit, closer, and I just add a small drop of water just one drop and you immediately see here the increasing activity the baseline increases you get red dots which are the acoustic emission hits the pops the bubbles which are generated in this um, soda water mix and you can see, you can follow it here on the, uh, on the smartphone, the red dots and the blue line. Now the process is in action. You can see it also here on this uh, blue-green uh, LED. If the LED is um, popping, if it's um, switching to green, that means it detects a pop. And you already can see that the baseline goes back. It was at 12 before, now it's at 7. You can also see here the red dots. It's going um, to be silent now. It means the activity stopped, but it's not completely stopped at the moment. You can see the baseline is at 6 microvolt at the moment. And we still wait now until we come back to 3 microvolt. So that means there is some activity in your chemical reaction. Um, but it's less active already. After two minutes, now the baseline is at 5 microvolt. If you want to reactivate, just add again some baking soda. And add some water. Again, another drop of water and baseline is increasing again you get more bubbles, more hits and this is how you can monitor your chemical process